to start off with, so I know it's not as easy as just there's a clear rule book to marketing and how you should market your business. But if you're a new business owner and you've literally started, look, you're starting from bare bones, you've got a concept idea. How would you go around starting thinking about your marketing strategy or campaign and how, how would that possibly look for someone? Because if there are going to be uh, new business owners, hope, hopefully watching this video, just to give them a guide on how to start it going. Okay. Uh, I think I, the, 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 the place that I start is what pro problem do you solve for people? You know, what is the purpose of your business and, and what problem are you solving for people? Because one of the one of the reasons I do what I do is because sometimes, you know, people get themselves into, um, um, you know, into a mindset that, 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 that marketing their business is all about telling people how great they are. Yeah. But but actually, uh, the, the one thing that I have to sort of get people to understand is that, that unless you have a brand, which most small businesses don't, most people don't care about your business except insofar as it can solve their problem. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, the difference with a brand is, and this is, you know, this is true of these, these sort of big businesses that you see the way they market themselves with, you know, all sorts of weird and wonderful television adverts and, and, and sort of online adverts and things like yeah. that. The difference there is they, a brand is all about, they, they've, spent billions on creating a community of people who are ready to listen to them yes yeah, so they already have that following already exactly so 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 from that point of view um the big companies you know the way they market themselves is not appropriate for small businesses small businesses need to to generate nurture and convert leads yeah and the way that you generate a lead to start off with is by demonstrating to somebody or, or, or uh, providing them with information to uh, lead, lead them down the, down the sort of uh, relationship route so that they understand that you can solve their problem. Yeah, so where mass market, well, so from a very layman's point of view, so mass marketing, they already have a client base. So they, those client base will spread the word along with your marketing. And because you have such a base anyway, you, you're, if you do say like a TV ad, everybody knows who Nike is. Everybody knows who Apple are because people just don't start talking about their products. Whereas a small business, it's especially like I found with mine, it's you almost, when I first started, you almost try and market like they do. And then when you meet with no success, it's it's very disheartening and you think well nobody obviously wants my product but then it's not until you speak to someone like yourself that you realize that you've been marketing completely wrong you've been not been building those relationships you've not been taking that step to build that connection and rapport with people so then they can go sell your product with for you so yeah yeah i mean we've we've all had that experience haven't we when when we've been watching the television and, and the adverts come on uh, and you spend a couple of minutes watching an advert and, and you haven't got the foggiest idea who it's for and what it's about, what it's yeah, uh, promoting true. and what have you. And then they just bring in a logo or a brand right at the end to say who it's for. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the thing about that, that logo or, or the brand coming in at that point is it brings a whole raft of meaning in with it yeah. based on what, what we know about mass, mass market brands. Yeah. So, um, and you will choose to sort of uh, take it on board or not, as the case may be. But what they're doing actually is they're just they're just nurturing their community. They're, they're not actually looking per se for business directly from that from that advert. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. So, so, so they're more appealing to their current customer base. Exactly, and and, and obviously they're looking to bring more people all the time into the community. But but actually, you know. Uh, uh, the point about a brand is that you buy into it you buy yeah. into its values you know and you become part of its community now there are some people who dip in and out of brands you know and that's that's okay as well but 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 the point is you know we all we've all heard adidas you know nike um uh coke pepsi you know all all of these all of these big businesses they are 
um, they are the product of the era of mass marketing. Yeah. You know, uh, and we know we're no longer in the era, era of mass marketing. And even those businesses that have grown up recently, you know, the big tech giants like Facebook and uh, and um, and um, Google and people like that, mm -hmm. and Amazon particularly, you know, they have spent billions, literally billions, on building brands. Uh, and yeah. some of them, and some of them, not Amazon, obviously. But but some of them are still yet to turn a, a profit, and certainly are still yet to pay back their investors. Yeah. So so you know all of that is you know that marketing that marketing is very different to what the small business needs. So, so how, how how would you recommend say like the use of social media? So social media is such a big thing nowadays. It's, yeah. It's it's almost integral to getting your information out there and with your current connections that you already have. So have, is there any recommendations you use on what, which sites to use rather than others, or is that very much business dependent? It is to a certain, it is to a certain extent, it is context specific because you go, you go where your target market is. If I, yeah. can give, if, if I can give people one key bit of advice though is, and it's counterintuitive, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of the big mistakes that people think of when they're, when they're building a small business is, is that they've got to try to appeal to everybody. Yeah. And by trying to appeal to everybody, they'll end up appealing to nobody. What you are actually looking for in your marketing as a small business person is your smallest viable market. So... For, for someone who's obviously like new to business and, and they're, they're watching this video to try and gain some kind of insight, so how, how would you go around trying to narrow down that smallest global market? Well, the, the first thing I'd say to them is be clear about what your business is for. Be clear about what problems you solve on behalf of your potential clients mm -hmm. and customers. Yeah. And then... Um, one of the one of the strategies I like to introduce to people is what I call my um, my FAQ strategy, my frequently okay. asked questions strategy. What are the uh, I'll use the number I use is ten, but but we can use three in this. In, if you're really at a startup stage, then just think about three. Think yeah. about three frequently asked questions you get about your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think about three frequently asked questions you get about uh, get asked about your business, and make a little video like a, like we're doing now to explain yeah. how you solve the uh, uh, to answer those questions. Yeah, yeah. And then think about three uh, questions that your clients should be asking but don't. Yeah, because maybe yeah. They, don't, they don't know that that is a problem yet. Or they don't need exactly. Well, they don't know enough to know what they don't know. Yeah. You see what I mean? So, okay. so the first three are there to, to reassure people that you can solve their problem. Mm -hmm. And the second three are there to demonstrate your expertise and, 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 and let them and educate them into, into what they're getting into. Yeah. So, so, so what sort of platform would be useful for that? So I know me personally, I quite like LinkedIn. I think it's a community of, especially for, like for my business, it's business owners. So I reach out to them. And obviously now YouTube, I'm trying to reach out to a different demographic and also trying to help build confidence with younger individuals that are just either just starting work or they're just into their management journey, just like I was. I was literally promoted into a position and then left. So is there any kind of definite go-to for any of the social medias or is it literally just pick which one you actually like to use and go from there there is an element of that definitely you know you know a platform that you feel comfortable with i think um uh, and it differ uh, i think my recommendation would differ depending on the nature of the business whether it's yeah. a business to business business or a business to consumer business yeah Two different type, two different types of marketing, you know, um, and you know, as a business to business business, like your business, in yeah. effect, you know, LinkedIn has to be your sort of platform of choice, really, because that's where 
that's where your target market is likely to be. Whether they're currently employed in corporate and have a hankering to start up their business, or whether they've already started their business and use LinkedIn to keep in touch with their network. Whichever yeah. way you look at it, your target market is likely to be there. If you are selling consumer products, on the other hand, then you know uh, it's more likely that, um, that, that, that Facebook would be an appropriate platform for that because it's got 2 billion people on it and your, your target market will be in there somewhere. And they do have very sophisticated tools to help you to find that target market. But, yeah. but you know, uh, I, I always say, I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you a little story to sort of um, illustrate this. Um, I, I, was talking to, I was talking to the, um, the managing director of a, a, a company that supplies software to electricity generating power stations. Mm -hmm. Sort of control software and what have you. Uh, and I asked him, um, and we were discussing how best they could market themselves. And, uh, and I asked him, you know, how many, um, how many potential clients do you have around the world? And he said, uh, uh, and bear in mind that these, you know, a lot of these, um, a lot of these utilities are, are nationally owned, you know? Yeah. So I, so I said to him, how many potential clients do you think you have around the world? And he said about 100. Okay. You know? And, you and around the world, that's not a lot. <laughs> it's not a lot, exactly. And so my point to him was, well, why are you talking to me? Because you, you, you know that you, it would not be impossible for you to get a list of their names and addresses and build the relationship directly. Very true. So context is all, you know, it, it's very important that, 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 that you, you know, the, the, the reason we use marketing is because they are a proxy for us, you know, we yeah. can't be, every, there's only 12, 24 hours a day, we can't be everywhere at once. So that's why we do marketing, you know. Uh, yeah, and, and does make a lot of sense. <laughs> if you do marketing, you've got to go where your clients, where your potential clients are. You know. Yeah. So now.